Hello. So anybody that is new to the world of modulators inside of Bitly Studio might find this tip helpful. And what we're going to be doing is focusing in on using the depth control inside of LFOs. So for this example, I'm shifting between two LFO shapes. By having the LFOs um, modulate each other's depth control. So let's take LFO 1. I'm going to take off the depth modulation that I have here. We have a second LFO with a different rate and a different shape, and we are pulling back the depth from 100%. We have the bipolar setting turned off just because it makes it easier to work with multiple LFOs if you have that disabled because there are less values that you have to worry about. So the depth is being pulled all the way back when our second LFO is increasing uh, in value. And then our second LFO is being modulated by the first LFO. Uh, and we're doing the same thing. So we started at a depth of 100%. Uh, I'm trying to show this, but for some reason... Oh, okay, cool, yeah. <laughs> All right, I removed that LFO. So yeah, let's pull back that depth with our first LFO. And so one way we can show this effect is by modulating the filter frequency with both these LFOs. Um, and you can see that the value is shifting between this rate of one bar uh, and kind of this nice even round shape um, to going much more quickly in fourths uh, at this more angular shape. So let's let's actually listen to this because it's much easier just to demonstrate than to try and explain the fourths. <clears throat> so we can take this a step further um, and get more control over each of these LFOs. Um, or not more control, but we can also just, you know, tweak the parameters further, um, you know, by hand, or we can add additional modulators, or even just use each of the LFOs to modulate more parameters inside of the other LFO. Um, and you can also control it. So let's say we don't want this faster LFO um, to have as dramatic of an effect. We can just pull the depth back. Um, and that's a really easy way to kind of decrease the impact that it has. Um, so yeah, there's just a, a quick tip for, for managing multiple low frequency oscillators or LFOs. Um, so hopefully you found this helpful and thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.